you make an unbelievable difference in everyone's lives that you meet and encounter on this planet earth it does not matter if you are meeting them for like 10 seconds at a time you can make somebody's complete day you can make somebody's complete life you are just that incredible you are that incredible you are that influential i feel like a lot of people look up to you because of this and a lot of people aspire to be you because of this okay but let's get more in depth in what i mean about this and i have a little story time so i was basically thinking about my co-workers last night and this is like kind of an epiphany that i had and ever since meeting them they all sort of like had these like little teeny tiny problems. Like all of them are incredible, incredible women. They are so smart, they're so talented, but they just didn't really like see that in themselves. Like they kind of like dimmed a lot of that in them themselves. And I feel like I was put on their path to awaken them to basically realize just how amazing they are. And the same thing kind of with you today. I feel like you literally can walk into a place a new job, a new place, whatever, and you see astronomical differences in the people that you meet and the people that you encounter. You begin to see them changing right before your very eyes. And it has something to do not only with your presence, the way that you present yourself, because a lot of people learn from seeing other people and the way that other people behave and react to their circumstances. That's how they learn to behave and react to other circumstances. And so when they see you behaving in the way that you do, in the professional, the graceful manner that you do, they literally change themselves because of that. They are influenced by you just by the way that you act. On top of that, if you give advice to people, which I feel like if you are drawn to this video, you absolutely are the advice giver. You are the empath. You are the light healer. You are the person that is put on this planet to lift other people up and to make other people really recognize and come to themselves and realize, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing on this lifetime. This is what I'm supposed to be doing on my path here. A lot of people don't need like a big push, right? Some people literally just need tiny little bits of advice like in their ear, little bugs in their ear for them to actually start doing things, right? In some cases, you do have to go above and beyond to like really push somebody to do something that they weren't really expecting for themselves. I like to think about my own experience in college when I was like working at this dining hall. I did not know what I was doing, but I had this insane business idea and I really wanted to act on it. But because I wasn't a business major, there wasn't a lot for me to like do. There wasn't like any resources for me. So one day I was just talking to people about it at my job, literally nothing big. And this guy literally tells me, he's like, you know that we have pitch competitions here, right? And you know that there's also such things as certificates and minors. Like you don't have to go fully into something in order to become established in it, in order to take a few classes in it, and it can actually pay off and you can get, you know, as I said, certificates or minors in it. From there, that immediately sparked my interest and I went directly from there to figuring out how can I build a pitch? What is a pitch? What am I doing? Because as a psychology student, like this is nothing. This is nothing that I had ever done before. How can I like basically pitch myself um, and this company that I have in mind and maybe get a little money for it and maybe get a little boost of business going for it. So from there, I went to my instructor at the time, my only business course instructor, and I said, please help me. <laughs> what am I doing? And he's like, okay, here's how, what you need to know about writing your first pitch. Here's what you need to know, blah, 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 blah. So he got me set up with that. And then from there, I entered my first pitch competition and I ended up getting second place, which is so crazy <laughs> to think about. <laughs> my first Ever pitch competition I've never ever done anything like this I've never spoken in front of a crowd like this before I ended up getting second place and I was nervous I was so beyond nervous I was shaking but moving past this if I literally would have never been talking about it at that very second in time and just sort of trying to get somebody's advice about it I never would have learned the right place to go in order to start getting advice and I feel like that's the best thing that you can ever like wish for wish on somebody else because I tell this to people all the time your spirit guides your angels the universe God whatever you believe in speaks through other people to you he she they speak through other people to you that's how they get the best advice subconsciously to you and by saying that this is sort of contradictory to what I was saying in my last video where I was kind of talking about like business and entrepreneurship. Don't be taking the advice of people around you that aren't in the spaces where you want to be. 
but if you don't even know how to get started this is the perfect way to get started it's to kind of just like ask around see where you need to go maybe even other people in the comments write a comment down below and say guys where do i go for this if i really want to get knowledge on this this is the internet we have the unlimited access and resources to everybody here and you never know who could be watching my video you never know who could be commenting down below who could also be drawn to this exact space that you are in right now who could be your next best friend your next business partner your next you know whatever it could all literally Literally be down below and all it takes is you just reaching out just having a second to just be like hey where do I go from here I'm here right now how do I get up here and I feel like that's really why I established this community is for people of all businesses people of all genders all races it doesn't matter all sexualities it literally does not matter we are here together to help each other out and you change people's lives by the brief interactions that you have with them so if you see somebody in the comments asking about like how do I get from here to here and you've already gotten those steps in it's all about helping each other helping individual people giving 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 because then the universe wants to help you receive it will actually force you to receive it will give you things and opportunities and it might not be exactly what you want it might not be exactly what you're looking for but it will get you there it will get you there. Back to changing people's lives on a continuous and constant basis. That is what we are here for. It's not only to be teaching ourselves, but to be learning and then teaching other people our learned and tried and true tricks, okay? It's not all about gatekeeping and keeping this information to ourselves because we are here trying to help other people grow in this lifetime, trying to help other people take it to the next level, take things to the next level, get to the next level. We are not out here trying to do anything maliciously. We are here giving our advice freely and helpfully and trying to help other people out because we know that those people will keep that in mind and maybe even will help us out in the future or if not even that because we should never ever ever think of things like I'm going to give this so therefore I should receive right we should think of it more so like just racking up that good karma so like maybe even if you give advice and you don't get the best advice back to you or received or whatever it does not matter because all of that good karma that you just put in will then pay off for you in the future so here's a great example that I like to think of especially you have already experienced this you've already done this but you go in you see maybe somebody that's not having a best day like it could be somebody in food service like you're getting your coffee from them right and they're not having the best day and so all you have to do is be like hey how are you doing today you know and if this person says not good then you can be that sounding board and you could say okay well what's going on what's happening you know blah 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 you exchange even just like being the person to sometimes like take some of that stress off of people is enough to kind of like get them to keep processing and moving forward right like sometimes all you have to be is a sounding board to people you don't always have to be giving advice out to people because that's not a lot of the time what people need a lot of the time and again this is more like the psychological aspect of me coming out like from studying psychology but a lot of the time people just need a sounding board people just need somebody to talk to about this and to process through it because a lot of the time people will come up with the best solutions themselves just by talking through it just by you know talking through it with you having somebody else to be like okay well have you thought about this instead and then they'll most likely be like no okay I actually didn't think about that and then it'll shift their focus onto something new and something better that will get them to the next level on top of that I feel like to put smiles on people's faces you know you tip people you smile at people you make people laugh you tell them a joke you are genuinely interested and curious and wanting to better humanity every single step of the way and that means every person that you meet ever okay and I know that that might sound like a lot at first, but it's really not because you've already been doing it. You've already done it. You already affect everybody's lives just by walking into that room and bringing that beautiful light energy that you bring. You seriously, you walk in there and people are mesmerized. People are completely mesmerized by your beautiful and wonderful and intelligent energy. This is also to say that like, if you maybe have that coworker that is complaining about the same thing over and over and over again, you know, I'm not getting the hours that I want. I'm not getting the money that I want. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Maybe instruct them and help them get to a different job or get to the next level of the job or get 
out of the situation that they're in that is causing them so much hurt and so much pain because it feels like a lot of these people are put on our paths again for us to help get to the next level and by doing that we are only going to help ourselves get to the next level because we're expanding our network we're making sure that everybody knows that we are wanting to move on as well so again if that coworker is just continuously complaining explaining over explaining telling you the same stories over and over again help them get to the next level affect their lives so it can affect yours simultaneously because this kind of negative energy could also be affecting you going after your prospects too could also be affecting how you see everything how the world works around you on the latter half of things if you have like a really rude boss like try to kind of like teach them that they're rude but in like the best way i remember like when i worked in food service i had like this gordon ramsay style boss like everything had to be perfect he would literally walk around with a white glove on touching all of the surfaces and looking at his fingertip to make sure that there wasn't a speck of dust on it i feel like a lot of people are scared off from the job because of his energy and because of his presence but not me bitch okay i'm not the type of person to ever allow anybody to talk to me in a certain way to ever allow somebody to tear me down or make me feel lesser than them because that is not what it's like on this earth okay all of us are equal i don't care how much money you have i don't care what title you have we are all here and we are all to be treated with the utmost respect that we deserve we are never supposed to be treated or talked to in aggressive or extreme ways okay that being said this man I literally had like a one-on-one -on -one with him one day where I just like got to know more about his life got to know like a little bit more about like why he is the way that he is and I feel like after that he really started to kind of like open up to other students and recognize that like he can be a real human like he doesn't have to be like this cyber perfect human that everybody has maybe always thought of him to be because we already know that he's a great chef we know that he has high standards we know yada 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 like all of this about him right however he doesn't have to prove that to us by being an asshole <laughs> basically after he opened up to me he kind of realized that like again he could be vulnerable he could be this person that makes mistakes he can be this person that you know f's up every once in a while but he can also still have the same respect if not more i respect leaders so much more if they're nice if they're kind than leaders who lead by rolling over people basically and i feel like a lot of you guys might feel the same way too or have experienced something similar in their lifetime it's like you don't have to be mean to be a good boss you can be an incredible boss and be empathetic and be understanding and be all of these things right and i feel like it's our duty as human beings to kind of like teach other people how to be better human beings how to be a better version of themselves because a lot of these people don't even recognize that they are doing that that you know that they're with that way because i like to think of another amazing example one of my incredible bosses i look up to her so much she is a powerhouse in the field she had to claw her way tooth and nail up to the top she was consistently surrounded by men who were equal to her level but would kind of like play themselves out to be her boss basically even though they weren't and so she had to really become very aggressive and very mean in order to keep her place in her spot in order to make sure that she maintained herself as a manager as a boss as whatever else other jobs that she has because she had so many like she was incredible at working her way up in the industry but once she got to the top she felt like she still had to maintain all of that sort of aggression all of that anger in order to sort of keep her place when in reality she now had this top dog spot she could honestly just kind of like be herself and still be a little bit you know harsh but you can get the point across like you don't have to be super super mean about it and she was very understanding of that she was very empathetic towards that she recognized that and she realized that from this point she had to start being nicer to people because people just aren't receptive if you are a jerk people just aren't that that receptive and I literally watched that on like a LinkedIn post that, today where somebody was like if you are mean to people and you meet people with a mean tone that's how people are going to meet you back that's like one of my favorite sayings too it's like if you meet people with sharp edges you are going to be met with sharp edges back people are not going to meet an angry person 
with nice and kindness because you're already coming at a state that makes them defensive. So how do you expect them to respond, you know? Versus if you're meeting somebody with round edges and you're kind hearted, you're kind, you're nice, you're empathetic, you're understanding, that's how somebody else is going to meet you too. Very symbiotically, they're going to understand you and you're going to understand them and try to, you know, create these differences and make something that is going to work for everybody. But going back to like this amazing boss that I had, she basically recognized in herself that she could not keep being this mean and rude person. And because of that, she started to actively take steps to become a better person and to be more kind and more forgiving versus somebody that's very rigid and stuck in just rude, you know? Overall, you guys are doing an incredible job. You are here to literally affect and change all of the lives that you ever come across in little teeny tiny ways, this way or the next. It is all about you taking yourself to the next level and bringing everybody with you and trying to affect these humans' lives on the littlest basis that you do because you already do a great job of it. Overall, you guys are doing an incredible job. You are here to literally affect and change all of the lives that you ever come across in little teeny tiny ways, this way or the next. It is all about you taking yourself to the next level and bringing everybody with you and trying to affect these humans' lives on the littlest basis that you do because you already do a great job of it. But I just wanted to like expand this because even though I sort of like knew that I was doing this, nobody ever really talked in depth about like how exactly that works you know like how can I see more of the results of that and I'm actually actively seeing the results of that with the people that I'm working with right now with you know the people that I've worked with in the past with the friendships that I've had with the even the tales with like the little barista situations and everything just talking to people and getting to know their stories and figuring out why they are the way that they are and then trying to be like okay well have you thought about it this way can you look at it from this way can you maybe push yourself to apply for this or apply for that instead of bitching all the time you know and I feel like again you guys do this so nicely where it's like you don't meet people with those harsh edges you tell people and again, it's not like tell people, but you you in nicely instruct people, here is what you should do instead, or here are the next steps to take rather than bitching. Or sometimes again, you are just that wonderful and lovely sounding board for people that is just like that breath of fresh air where it's like they don't even need the advice, they literally just need somebody to talk to and to be kind of that sounding board and to kind of just be like, okay, oh my god, I didn't even think about that, you know? Like, saying it out loud made me realize that this is what I should do next. <laughs> like, literally, that's all that people need sometimes. So yeah, baddies, keep it up. Keep up the amazing work. You guys are changing people's lives literally on a regular basis every single second of the day. So keep it up. Again, you're doing incredible. Think about these ways that you can affect everybody's lives around you. And again, I didn't even mention, but family members too and partners. Think about how you can affect their lives as much as you are affecting your own and try to help people change for the better because little by little, this is how we are going to make the world a better place is by helping the people within our circle. But yes, I love you all so, so, so much. You're doing incredible. Seriously. Get some tea, enjoy your day, and I will see you guys in the next episode. I love you. Bye-bye. Yeah.